Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today we'll be looking at the running costs of electric, how to work it out and what you can do to enjoy cheaper heating all year round. So be sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. First, there are two things you need to know before you start calculating. Your radiator's wattage and how many hours per day you plan on running your heating. Wattage refers to the maximum output of electricity your radiator generates. So it's safe to say the bigger or draftier the room, the higher the wattage needs to be. Let's use an example to help with your calculations. So you've just bought our best-selling electric radiator, the EcoStrad IQ Ceramic. You've got a mid-sized living room, so you've opted for a unit with a max wattage of 1,000. You plan on having your heating on for a good part of the day, so let's say six hours. With that, let's work out the running costs in five easy steps. Calculator at the ready. Step one, convert the wattage of your appliance into kilowatts. To do this, just divide the wattage by 1,000. So 1,000 watts divided by 1,000 equals one kilowatt, simple. Step Two, multiply the kilowatt figure by hours in use. So we said six in our example. So one kilowatt times by six equals six kilowatt hours. This is how much energy your radiator will use in a day. Step three, multiply the kilowatt hour by the price of electricity. Now this is where results can vary since it depends on your energy provider. As of the 1st of April, 2022, experts have estimated the average price of electricity is 28 pence per kilowatt hour. So six times 28 equals one pound 68 per day. Step four, now you've got your estimated running costs for one day, let's expand that into a week, a month, and a full year. All you need to do is multiply one day's worth of electricity times the number of days. So there you have it. You've worked out the running costs of your electric heating. But wait, let's take a step back and actually consider those figures. Are you really going to run your heating every single day at the same temperature for the same length of time? Probably not. These prices merely reflect a worst case scenario. In reality, you've got much more to consider, seasonal changes and the prices set by your energy provider to name a few. With electric heating, it isn't just a matter of turning your appliances on and off. Electric radiators are built to include a wealth of energy saving features. This enables them to provide your home with effective warmth without having to work as hard not to mention getting those bills down too. Radiators like the IQ Ceramic come with Wi-Fi compatibility, voice activated control, 24 seven programming, and even a motion sensor mode. These appliances offer greater scope to manage your energy usage and reduce your overall running costs. With more control than ever, your home heating can suit your routine, your preferences, and keep bills down to a minimum. In reality, the IQ Ceramic, or any of our electric radiators for that matter, might only be using around a third of the energy estimated to maintain and boost temperatures. Which leads us to step five, working out a more realistic figure. If your radiator's only drawing power for a third of the time, we can switch up the division slightly. Using the same calculation from step four, let's work out the running costs of your electric heating for a week, month, and a year by dividing the previous results by three. And look at that, the figures have been cut by over half. So there you have it. You now have the tools to help you better understand the running costs of electric. Any questions or comments, let us know down below. Also, don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. Thanks for watching.